Hi there, this is Mahesh here and welcome to the Celestial Quest and I'm back with yet another video. And as you would have already guessed, today I'm going to talk about the zodiac signs or Rashis in Vedic Astrology. Like the past videos, I'm going to bring in some astronomical angle here. Let's take a look at the diagram on the screen. Before we talk about the zodiac signs and what the zodiac is, we need to understand what the ecliptic is. The Sanskrit word for the ecliptic is Apamandara. The imaginary plane containing the Earth's orbit around the Sun is called the ecliptic plane. This is shown with the light orange circle on your screen. The Sun's apparent path through the sky lies in this plane and is called ecliptic as pointed out in the diagram. So why do we call it Sun's apparent path? We all know that it's the Earth that revolves around the Sun and it takes about 365 days to complete one full rotation. But from the Earth, it feels as if the Sun is traversing this path over the course of the year. And hence, we call it Sun's apparent path. Now, let's understand what the zodiac is. The zodiac or Bha Chakra in Sanskrit is an area of the heavens or sky that extends about 9 degrees on either side of the ecliptic plane. I'm showing this on the screen. Zodiac looks like a band or belt stretching 9 degrees above and 9 degrees below the ecliptic. This band is a circle of 360 degrees around the ecliptic. For those who are curious about why zodiac is 18 degrees wide, we will talk about it in a separate video. This zodiac circle has been divided longitudinally into 12 equal parts of 30 degrees each called zodiac signs or rashis in Sanskrit. Together they make up 360 degrees of the zodiac. In astrology and astronomy, each degree is divided into 60 minutes and each minute into 60 seconds. The first zodiac sign starts at 0 degrees and finishes at 30 degrees. The second sign starts at 30 degrees and finishes at 60 degrees. The third one starts at 60 degrees and finishes at 90 degrees and so on. And likewise, the twelfth or last sign starts at 30 degrees and finishes at 360 degrees, which is called the end of the zodiac. This same zodiac is also marked by 27 constellation of stars called lunar mansions or nakshatras and we'll talk about these in separate video. Now you may ask why the zodiac is divided into 12 equal divisions rather than any other number. So let's try to understand. The relationship between the movement of sun and the movement of moon shows that the number of days between the full moon to full moon that is from Purnima to Purnima and new moon to new moon that is from Amavasya to Amavasya is 29 days, 12 hours and 44 minutes. Rounding this off we get 30 days and this is called synodical month. Sun covers approximately 30 degrees during this time on what we call sun's apparent path. And I'm showing you this with a dotted line, with an arrow. So if we divide the zodiac of 360 degrees by 30 degrees, then we get 12 parts. And that is the reason we divide the zodiac into 12 parts. We call these 12 zodiac signs or Rashis. These are also called sun signs, as the sun traverses one zodiac sign in one month, thus kind of taking the ownership of one sign every month while traveling around the zodiac in its yearly cycle. One other important point you need to be aware of is that there are two zodiacs. One called the tropical zodiac or by its Sanskrit name Sina and the other called sidereal zodiac or Nirayana. In Western astrology, some astrologers consider tropical or Sina zodiac, also known as moving zodiac for astrological predictions where the position of the starting point of the zodiac is fixed with reference to the vernal equinox, which is the intersection of the ecliptic with the celestial equator. Whereas the sidereal or Nirayana zodiac, also known as fixed zodiac, is used in Vedic astrology and also by many of the Western astrologers, where the starting point of the zodiac is fixed using fixed star. Apparently in the past, the starting points of these two zodiacs coincided. But as the vernal equinox point precesses or moves westward at the rate of about 51 seconds per year with respect to the fixed stars, therefore the starting points of these two zodiacs have drifted away from each other over the years. And currently they stand apart by about 24 degrees longitudinally. 
For those who are interested, I will be discussing tropical and sidereal zodiac in more detail in a separate video. Let's now take a look at zodiac signs or Rashis on this zodiac circle. The first one is called Aries or Mesha in Sanskrit and is denoted by the symbol I'm showing you on the zodiac circle. I have opted for symbols which are widely used. The second sign or Rashi in zodiac is called Taurus or Rishabha. The third sign is called Gemini or Mithuna. Fourth is called Cancer or Karka. Fifth is called Leo or Simha. Sixth is called Virgo or Kanya. Seventh is Libra or Tula. Eighth is Scorpio or Rishchika. Ninth is Sagittarius or Dhanu. Tenth is Capricorn or Makara. Eleventh is Aquarius or Kumbha. And the twelfth is Pisces or Mina. Please note that the order of these signs is fixed. That is Aries or Mesha is always the first sign. Taurus or Rishabha will always come after it. And Gemini or Mithuna will be the next sign and so on until we reach the twelfth sign which is Pisces or Mina. The table on this screen shows the first six zodiac signs with symbols, English and Sanskrit names and the degrees of these signs longitudinally. For example, the first sign Aries or Mesha starts at 0 degrees and finishes at 30 degrees. And the second sign Taurus or Rishabha starts at 30 degrees and finishes at 60 degrees. The table on this next screen shows the zodiac signs 7 to 12 with the same information as the previous screen. And as you can see, the last sign Pisces starts at 330 degrees and finishes at 360 degrees, which is the end of the zodiac. Each sign or Rashi in Vedic astrology has its own specific qualities attributed to it by the ancient sages, most likely after a very thorough research. And I'll discuss these qualities of each of these signs in a separate video series. So guys, this was a small introduction to zodiac signs or Rashis. Hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.